kind of seasonally confused right now. I was feeling a turtleneck today, tried to do some summery eyes to make up for it, and then this happened. So when I came back from my trip, I had a freaking mountain of boxes with new products to try out. So I'm trying out a ton of them in this video. Star of the show is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. Have a few new things from Urban Decay, Smashbox, BH Cosmetics, a bunch of good shit. So if any point while you're watching this, you're enjoying and having a good time, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. If you wanna see how I got this look, you're in the right place, just keep watching. All right, we're already on to round three of coffee. Pretty sure I've had this mug since freshman year of college. So I have a ton of new products here that I am very excited to put on my face. I already used this one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. I wanted to give it a few minutes to set into my skin, so I already applied it. But it basically is just a drop kind of serum that feels exactly like most serums do, except this one dried in extremely fast. It absorbed in literally about 20 seconds into my skin. It doesn't really have a gross serum kind of scent. This smells kind of fresh and light. The Smashbox came out with a Photo Finish Radiance Primer. I'm hoping this isn't tinted because it kind of looks like it. It says it has hyaluronic acid in it. Here's what the bottle looks like. So it definitely looks a bit tinted, but let's just see how it goes. I feel like that's giving me a glow. It actually doesn't look like it really darken my skin at all. My face is just red because I'm rubbing it. Actually, maybe it did. Doesn't have the same feel as their other primers. Like it doesn't have a silicone feel to it. So I have two different sponges here that I have to go wet, but I wanted to show you them in the packaging first. This is a new L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible sponge. It has the pointed kind of tip and then a bigger base. And I picked up a few things from BH Cosmetics and one of them was this mini sponge. I haven't had good luck with these in the past for blending out concealer, but I wanna try it. So I'm gonna go wet these too. My favorite sponge lately, this is what I brought with me while I was gone, is this Morphe sponge. This is freaking bomb, you guys. I don't like the tip that much. I mean, I have been using it to blend out concealer, but I love the base of this. There's something about the base that just gives you such good coverage. Like this thing is up there with my Real Techniques right now. So the little baby one definitely got bigger. This one got freaking huge. It's like a tennis ball now, but it feels super nice and squishy, but this thing is giant. Like, look at this. So for foundation, I'm still testing out white mixers because I'm testing out white mixers for the white mixer video. Great point, Taylor. That will be coming in the next week or two. I brought all of them with me when I was gone. I've been trying them out. So I haven't tried out this one yet. This is the Makeup Designery HD Air Liquid Makeup. I got this at iMats. This might be intended to put in like one of the airbrush systems, but I remember the lady saying that I can use it not in that. This is gonna be a major foundation cocktail today. So I'm mixing the white mixer with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum because this one's too dark and super glowy. And then I wanna mix in some of the Urban Decay Velvetizer. This is brand new from Urban Decay. This is super interesting. It's a translucent mix-in medium that's supposed to help mattify and give your skin like a soft matte velvety kind of finish. So I picked this foundation because this one's super glowy so we'll see how this works as a mixing medium. I thought that was such a cool concept. Just when you think brands have done everything, Urban Decay comes in. I'm gonna get to mixing. I have a whole video on this foundation. I think I did it during the second 15 Days of Foundation series. So a few drops of that white lightened it pretty quickly. Just so I don't waste what's on my hand, I'm just gonna wipe it on my face before we mix in the medium. Here we go with this thing. I do not know how much you're supposed to mix into this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just said whoa literally 10 times. This is weird, you guys. It's like a super, I'm gonna show you a close up. It's like literally velvet on your fingers. So here's what that consistency looks like in there. I put about, I don't know, dime size amount in there. And I'm just gonna, whoa. You can feel the consistency changing. All right, let's go to town. Whoa, yeah, this feels different. And just use the bottom. Keep in mind that this Bourjois foundation doesn't have a whole lot of coverage to start with at all. I'm definitely gonna have to spot conceal. But typically without the velvetizer, it's a very, very glowy finish. That definitely mattified it a bit. And it almost feels like it's already setting down. The sponge feels nice, really nice. You have a ton of surface area right there, so it just blends out really quickly. Whew, I am crampy that time of the month. Isn't it really crazy when you think about the fact that we sink each other? So weird, like how does that happen? If someone actually knows why or how that happens, comment down below. I do feel like you have to work pretty quickly with this though, since it is kind of mattifying, it definitely dries quicker. It almost makes your foundation set to a powder finish, like you have a powder on top, but my skin just looks very 
natural right now. So I have a new concealer to try out by BH Cosmetics. This is the Total Coverage Concealer. I believe this is a new product from them, or fairly new. I have the lightest shade 101. Depending on how light this is, I'm gonna also try it underneath my eyes, but I'm first gonna try it to spot conceal. Whoa, this is an interesting little top. Looks like a lip gloss top. BH Cosmetics is super affordable and you can almost always get discount codes from them. I just go on retailmenot.com for all my coupon codes or Ebates also has them listed sometimes. Let's see how much this covers. Might as well use, oh, we have our little concealer sponge. Let's try this. I was actually gonna put that directly on the sponge. Yeah, I'm gonna try this underneath the eyes. Ooh. I'm gonna use my concealer brush, where are you? From Morphe the G38. I also like to use this to kind of bring it above my eyes. That looks nice. I like the way that that blended out. It feels, what does this feel like? Feels like another concealer. Oh, it feels almost like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Very lightweight, creamy, but gives you that coverage. Even out the rest of my face a little bit. I don't know what it is about this brush, but it just gives you the best coverage with concealer. It's what I use to spot conceal. Usually it's what I use underneath my eyes to blend out the concealer. It's the only brush for me that doesn't take away the coverage. So I don't think I've tried this as an all over face powder yet. This is the Burberry number 12 nude powder. It says that it's a sheer luminous press powder. For under my eyes, I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of that What with the Stargazer white press powder just because my under eyes are already light right now, so I don't want it to be super, super light. So I'm just gonna mix those two a bit and see what happens. There we go. That works. I actually don't know if I wanna set my whole face. I'm kind of feeling the semi-glow we have going on. My cheeks look very matte, and my center of my forehead looks a little bit glowy. I'm curious to see if that Urban Decay stuff helps keep you matte throughout the day. I'm not gonna be doing a check-in today because I'm actually gonna be taking off all my makeup because I have to go to something after this, but I'll keep using that and let you guys know, probably on Snapchat. Mm, I don't know, man. Kinda wanna try out this powder all over. Okay, I feel like that didn't do anything, did it? I'm just gonna keep my forehead without it, I think, because I like the way my forehead looks right now. So before I try out new stuff for the rest of my face, I'm just gonna do my brows really quick. All of the products I use will be down below, but I'm just using my normal Benefit and a brow gel. Okay, my camera just totally shut off. I thought it literally broke, but now it's working. So fingers crossed we can make it through this video. And I just used MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre to prime my eyelids. I'm super excited to try out this. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. This is one of their new contour palettes. Mallory brought this thing when we were in Portland and she said she loves it. And I tried the highlight from it and the highlight was really nice, but it is very heavy. Like this thing is an arm workout. I could do Jillian Michaels with this. And it's very top heavy. Like this mirror weighs more than the actual product does. But this shade right here looks like it has potential. So I'm gonna try this as a contour shade using my Wet n Wild brush. All the brushes I use are always listed down below in the description box. So this has a lot of kick up. Woo! Oh, it's pigmented. Holy shit, sees. Whoa, okay. So we are not going for the natural contour today. Tone of that though. Looks really nice. I'm just gonna have to like majorly blend that out. I'm gonna go back over with my sponge. Just blend that out a little bit. Yeah, definitely super pigmented. You need to just lightly tap your brush in there. So that was barely, barely tapping my brush in. I don't typically like contours and blushes to be super pigmented because it makes it harder to work with. Besides it being super pigmented, I'm really feeling the tone of this. For blush, I'm gonna try out the number seven peach velvet blush. Never used this before. Ooh, that's a pigmented one too. Again, I just tapped my brush in there, very pigmented. I like the shade of that though. I always get questions about this brush. This one is by For Less, it's the CB4 brush. Morphe makes a similar one. Sigma actually doesn't, I don't know why. They don't have a big, dense brush like this. But for a highlight, I think I'm gonna use the highlight in this palette as well, just so you guys can see it. It looks like nothing super thrilling in the pan at all, and it almost looks like it would be too dark for me, but once it's on, it's really pretty. I do feel like it emphasizes my texture a bit. It's definitely one of those highlighters that you can kind of see on your skin. Oh, shit. Definitely wanted to use, oh, dang it. I'm using the Carly Bible palette on my eyes, and I definitely wanted to use that white highlight. All right, we're just gonna have a really intense highlight today and layer the two. Let's go in with 
Carly over here. So this is Carly's collaboration with BH Cosmetics. It has 21 eyeshadows in here. Oh no, 21 of everything. It has 15 eyeshadows, maybe six highlighters, a bunch of different shades of the highlighters. And it says there's 11 original shades in here plus 10 new shades and highlighters. I haven't tried her original palette, so I'm excited to try this thing out, but I'm loving the marble packaging, holy shit. I love that there's a highlight shade for pretty much any skin tone in here. I definitely wanna try out this white one right here. There's also a really pretty looking pink shade. Ooh, almost just put my highlight brush in coffee. Oh yeah. I actually usually love using the BH eyeshadows as highlights, so no shock that I like this. Intense, but I did just layer two highlights, but look at that. Heck yeah, Carly. Nose and Cupid's bow. That is super pretty. So far I feel like I'm liking almost everything, which is rare. So I think we're gonna move on to eyes using Carly's palette. If you haven't tried the formula of BH Cosmetics eyeshadows, they're great. They're super affordable. They're typically really pigmented, soft. I did a super warm look in Monday's video, so I think I might go in for like the purple. So there's some super pretty purples, kind of peach shades in here, golds, warm tones. This pink shade is kind of speaking to me. Ooh, that looks pretty. There's like some duochrome kind of gold in there too. I'm gonna start out with this matte kind of transition shade right there in the corner. I like that there's also a big mirror on here. If you have green eyes, that shade makes them pop. I'm gonna take this purple shade right here and blend that kind of into the crease, I think. I feel like these are the perfect amount of pigmented, but where they still super easily blend out. I'm gonna take that pink shade right here with my finger and put that on the lid. This looks so pretty. Oh, heck yeah. It looks like I wet my brush and just put that on. That's how metallic and smooth this is. Carly, you're killing it. So freaking pretty. I hope it's showing up on camera how it looks in real life. For an inner corner highlight, I think I'm actually gonna take that pink highlight shade right at the bottom and put that right on the inner corner. Almost has some purple or like almost a little bit of blue actually in there. Blend in a little bit of that white. I kind of like how this looks just with the lashes and just keeping it really open. So I don't think I'm gonna put any waterline eyeliner on or liquid liner, but I am gonna blend some eyeshadow down to the bottom. I think I'm gonna use that first transition shade because that just made my eyes pop. I'm gonna bring some of the purple shade down there as well. For bottom mascara, I'm gonna use my normal Wet n Wild Mega Length. All of the shades that I tried in this palette, I am in love with. I think it's beautiful. Can't wait to play around with the eyeshadows more because they just blend out so easily and I feel like they're just the perfect, perfect formula. Good job, Carly. So for lips, this isn't technically a new product, but it's new to me. This is the Huda Beauty, I feel like you just have to say that fast, Huda Beauty. Liquid Matte Lipstick, this is like a vampy purple. I think this might look cool with the eyes. This is in the shade Silver Fox. I only tried super briefly Trophy Wife the other day. I just put it on, took an Instagram photo and took it off because I had to take my makeup off. Oh, this is like a gray. What the heck? Definitely thought this was like a deep purple from the outside of the box. This isn't totally what I'm going for. So let me try and find a different color. I have Vixen, but this looks like more of a deep red. I might use this and just put some of that purple eyeshadow over top actually. So it takes a little bit to dry down, but the formula feels thin, but not super drying, which I like. It looks like it's starting to dry down and mattify now, but it's probably been drying for about a minute now. This shade is freaking stunning. This is Vixen, did I say that? I almost don't even know if I wanna add anything to the top of this because I kinda like the super deep matte right now with all the other glowy going on. I don't know, do we add a little purple or no? I'm gonna do it, I can always go back over it with the liquid lipstick if I don't want it. I'm just gonna take the matte purple shade right here, just a tiny bit and dab it in the center. All right, so I feel like that was super subtle. Just added a tiny bit of dimension. I think the last thing, yeah, is the new Morphe Prep and Set Spray. So you can technically spray this before your makeup too. You can spray any setting spray before your makeup pretty much. I've used this one time and it's super interesting. It's an aerosol can, so you don't have to worry about getting like the dots or splotches of setting spray since it's just a super fine mist. So I'm just gonna attempt not to get my hair. 
Oh, I love this spray. It feels super refreshing and it has a really light, fresh scent. So I've only worn this once, I can't say yet how it actually holds your makeup throughout the day, but I love the way that it goes on and I feel like that just adds some glow. I think it added a little bit of a glow. Whoa, totally got my hair. All right, so this is the final look. I think this is a very rare occasion and I'm liking 99% of the things I tried. I think the sponge is definitely at the bottom. Excited to use the contour from this again. Super into the Carly Bible palette. I wanna play around with the concealer more, but right now I'm loving the way my under eyes look. It has really nice coverage and my eyes don't look dry or crepey under there at all right now. Obviously can't speak to the formula of this and how it wears throughout the day or anything yet, but right now it's feeling nice. Feels a little tiny bit tacky, but it just might take a little bit longer to fully dry down. But the shade of this is beautiful. And I also wanna keep trying out this thing to see if it helps me stay matte throughout the day. I actually don't have anything that I totally hate for once. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. There's gonna be a shadow and schmooze coming soon. So I'm gonna do a full get ready with me thing again, but actually talk about life and all the trips in May. But if you have any specific questions you want me to answer in that shadow and schmooze, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.